Hello, Hawthorne Bears. Today we're going to be number detectives and try to solve an ESTA mystery. This mystery is called Domino Dots. And I do want to point out at the bottom here, uh, there's a link that if you like this activity and want to get some more, or if you like to play Splat, you can find both here at www.stevewyborney.com. So first I want you to take a look at this glass and see if you can estimate how many dominoes there are in the glass. Go ahead and take a look. Now, keep in mind, there's gonna be some that are hidden. So I want you to estimate how many dominoes you think are in that glass. Okay, do you, do you, do you have a guess? Go ahead and write that number down. So what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be giving you some clues, four clues in fact. And you can use that, those clues to narrow down your guess. And each time you get some more information, you can fine tune your estimation. And as we get more clues, if you see that, hey, your estimate is no longer valid, you can take and you can make a new guess. And I'm also going to be giving you a numbers chart, and you'll see that here in a second. They'll help us keep track of our of what numbers it can and cannot be. So let's take a look at clue number one. The answer is between 20 and 50. Now, one of the key words here is between. If it's between 20 and 50, that means it can't be 20 and it can't be 50. So let's go ahead and cross out the numbers one through 20 and the number 50. That leaves us 21 through 49. So if your initial guess was one of those numbers we just crossed out, go ahead and update your guess using one of the numbers that are, that are still white. Now this is what we do in math. As we get more information, we can fine tune our guesses. All right, have you updated your response? Okay, great. Clue number two, the answer is an even number. So if you remember, even numbers are numbers that can be equally divided into two. So numbers that end with a two, four, six, eight, or zero are even numbers. So what we want to do, since it's an even number, we want to cross out the odd numbers. The odd numbers end with a one, three, five, seven, or nine. So let's go ahead and cross out the odd numbers. All right, as you can see, we've been able to reduce our get total numbers down to 12 numbers. Go ahead and uh, fine tune your estimate. If, uh, if you had an odd number, go ahead and cross it out and make a new estimate based on the information we have available. Okay, do you have your updated estimate? Great. So let's go ahead and look at clue number three. Clue number three says the answer does not have a four in the tens place. So which in a two digit number, which number's the tens place? Is it this one or is it this one? That's right. The, the, in the case of 48, the four is in the tens place and the eight is in the ones place. Now, if we look at the clue, the answer does not have a four in the tens place. So we should go ahead and cross out all these numbers here that have a four in the tens place. All right, that takes us down to just nine numbers. Go ahead, if you had guessed the number 42 and we just crossed it out, go ahead and update your guess or your, your estimate based on the new information we have. All right, let's look at clue number four. Clue number four says the answer does have a four in the ones place. Again, we just looked at the tens place, so in a two-digit number, the tens place is right here, which means that this is the ones place. 
So the answer does have a four in the ones place. So we should go ahead and cross out anything that does not have a four in the ones place. So let's do that. And that brings us down to just two numbers, 24 or 34. Go ahead and take a look at that glass again. Which estimate makes more sense? Is it 24 or 34? So let's go ahead, write it down your final guess. If there's somebody in the room with you, go ahead and tell them why you chose that number. All right, well, are you ready to see the answer? All right, detectives, the answer is 34 downloads. If you got 34, congratulations. You did a great job estimating and fine-tuning your estimates as we got more information. We'll be doing some more of these number of mysteries throughout the week and also be looking for some fun splat games that'll get posted. Um, you can find these on my website www.mrpythemathguy.com and you can find more splat activities and number mysteries at www.stevewhiteborney.com. I sure miss having you guys around. Can't wait for us to get back in school and start learning. Stay safe and stay healthy, bears. <laughs>